options like that. It was either go to a junior college and then try to figure out what I'd do the last two years. And because uh, my parents couldn't really uh, help me, so I was able to get a, a half scholarship here, and, uh, and then the other by working at UPS, I was able to, to, to pay my way through. But at that time, there were a lot of commuters. I don't know if there are now or not. And, uh, and so it's regional school, but it was uh, a school that, uh, and I think it probably still is this way, that allows kids that maybe wouldn't have a lot of other options to get a good education and then go from there. I don't know what percentage of students get financial aid, but I would assume it's still a pretty high number. It's about 70 to 80%. Yes. financial aid here, and uh, the demographics would be interesting to you, around just south of 3,500 students, and about 11 or 1150 live on campus, right. residential. So a third live on campus, two thirds commute, and or are online. Mm -hmm. right. The online culture has changed mm -hmm. the structure of the university today. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not all that. We have students who come, live on campus, take two face classes, and take two online classes out of the business college, for example, or a night class. 